Hey guys, what's going on? James here. And in this video today, we're going to be talking about how the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are going to pick up the fifth year option for star young middle linebacker, Devin White. If you guys are new here, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the like button if you do enjoy these types of videos and leave your thoughts and opinions on the Buccaneers picking up Devin White's fifth year option down in the comments section below. As always, I would love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on this situation. Now, let me go ahead and say this. First things first, the number that will be paid to Devin White in that fifth year option is going to be a little over $11.3 million, which I believe makes Devin White a top 15 paid linebacker in the league for that year. Now, obviously things could change. Guys could get big contract extensions and Devin White could get put a little bit lower on that list or he could get put a little bit higher again, depending on what happens with other top paid middle linebackers around the league. Second thing I want to make a note of is that this does not come into effect for this upcoming regular season. Devin White is playing on the final year, or I guess the fourth year now, of his rookie contract in this upcoming regular season for the Bucks. The fifth year option will take place in this season after. So we have two more years of Devin White pretty much guaranteed for the Bucks. And this is a move that I definitely think not a lot of people are going to be surprised about. You look at what Devin White has been able to do through three years with the Bucks already, and things have gone pretty darn good. Devin White, fifth overall pick in the 2019 NFL Draft for the Bucks. He's been really good. In his first year, he was number two on the team in tackles behind Levante David in 2020 and 2021. He would led the team in tackles, and he's overall been a very, very effective player, both as a run stopper and, heck, even as a pass rusher a little bit as well. He is, you know, very much a fantastic borderline perfect scheme fit for Todd Bowles defense he fits like a freaking glove and he has been very consistent and very good he also had a pro bowl with the Bucks in his rookie season I believe as an alternate but you know what we still count that as a pro bowl and hey he was part of that Super Bowl team as well so Devin White point being is off to a fantastic start to his career uh, it will be interesting, though, to see what the future holds for Devin White and the Bucks. I know a lot of people still have some questions and concerns about White's overall play, especially last season. A lot of people felt that White definitely took a little bit of a step back in regards to his tackling. Missed tackles were a little bit of an issue for some people. Pass coverage was a little bit of an issue for some people. But I think that one can assume that Devin White is probably more so than not going to figure into the long-term plans for the Bucks. Obviously, if Devin White wants to stay here, I'm sure the Tampa Bay Buccaneers would love to keep him uh, very, very long. Basically, hopefully for his entire career, I'm sure is what a good amount of people are assuming. He is going to be the main successor to Levante David as the leader of the defense essentially and he's already been showing those leadership qualities right ever since he was a rookie and took the entirety of his rookie class under his wing and said hey I'm gonna lead you guys as a small group and let's go get some of this business done in our rookie years and then he has just been continuing to grow and grow as a leader of what is admittedly a pretty young defense for the Bucks. Devin White is probably going to figure to be there for many many years to come and yeah, picking up this fifth year option is just the first step in that process. I think Devin White will be ending up getting more than, you know, probably a lot more than $11 million in whatever contract he signs with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers down the line as a long-term deal. But right now, as it stands, the Buccaneers are going to have next season of Devin White, and then they are going to have the following season with Devin White now that they have picked up that fifth year option. So, all around, this is good news in my opinion. Let's continue to watch Devin White grow and develop, get better in some of those areas that some people feel he may, may need to improve in, and uh, just enjoy the greatness of a young player who is already off to a fantastic start to his career. I'm very, very pumped about this news. By the way, this was Scott Reynolds of Scott Reynolds of PewterReport.com breaking this news. So shout out to you, Scott Reynolds. Fantastic job getting the news on this. But again, 
What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts and opinions about the Buccaneers picking up the fifth year option for Devin White down in the comments section below. Do you like it? Do you not like it? What do you think about some of the things that Devin White has been really good at? And what do you think about some of the things that Devin White may need to improve on? Give me your thoughts on all of it down in the comments section below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always guys, goodbye for now and go Bucks.